Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Welcome back to another Pro 1v1 match. Welcome today to Sand Scorpion. Up in the north, we have Mental Patient, aka Scuba, Zero Hour Expert, and he's playing with the green Jilly Stealth. All the way down in the south for the bottom right position, we have the Cyan, Jilly Tox, for Marikar. So, expert versus expert. Um, Marikar, more of the newer generation of experts. Actually, the latest uh, Zero expert to be promoted to that status. And Scuba, actually, one of the originals. Um, or at least had the expert badge even way before I did. Years before, I don't know when exactly. Uh, he is going for a tunnel in the middle and a tunnel up on this top position. Interesting. Uh, positioning that it's actually facing down rather than most people would probably just have it facing that way. I suppose it doesn't make too much of a difference. Uh, down here though, I usually uh, I know it's very generalistic or a very big generalization uh, to say the first person to get a tunnel established down here is usually going to be the winner. The person who secures this position is at a huge, huge advantage and the other person's usually playing catch up. We've got Marikar going for one oil. Something we've seen him do time and time again. Actually going for the oils quickly. If you go back and watch all, all of my casts of Marikar and watch how many times he's capturing the oil nice and early in, uh, in games of Zero Hour. It is very, very uh, common indeed. But watch my uh, prediction though. I'm going to say first person to establish a tunnel down in this bottom left is going to be the winner. And Scuba's actually trying to build two. This one is being stopped. There is another worker down here, though, but Marikar seems to be on top of that one as well. Is that one going to get taken out? I think there was a terrorist or something inside of there. Hmm, maybe just a worker. Not 100% sure. But it seems that Scuba is going to win this engagement after all down here. So, yeah, based on that, let's see if that if that uh, prediction works. I mean, Scuba's got the middle as well, and he's got that, and he's got his safe oil. And in the late game, he's going to have... Um, Obviously, stealth tunnels with cheaper cheaper buggies is going to be a recipe for a, a disaster there for GLA Tox. GLA Tox thrives in kind of the early game and the mid game when you get those uh, massive amount of scorpions out. But so far, Scuba doing very, very well indeed and is the first person to get, get tunnels down in this position. A bit of an uh, unusual or unorthodox position there as well. So yeah, based on that, let's see if Scuba does go on to win this game. Yeah, he plays under the name Mental Patient and has done for a number of years. Uh, when playing clan wars and stuff technical there doesn't achieve anything but this tunnel here is going to get up for marika so uh yeah very unusual things to happen is actually this stealth has come all the way from north got two tunnels down here and actually the tox has got position here is very very uh, strange but scuba has secured the middle seems like he has the top under control as well scuba now Double spamming quads from the arms dealers. Looks like he's got them actually waypointed to the middle. And now push here from Scuba. Bringing in a technical from the back. Technical from the back doesn't make all too much of a difference though. But uh, that Toxin Tractor is certainly headed for that bunker. And if that gets cleared... Ooh, what the hell is going on with that bunker though? Actually, yeah, loads of stuff survived inside of that. Even though the toxin tracked to hit it with a with a with a dead hit, so with a, with, a, with a direct hit, it was very very strange indeed. But it looks like Scuba is somehow clearing this with the stealth against a uh, against the tox tunnel. And uh, Marikar had the occupation of these buildings as well. And the toxin tried to seem to come in slow. So yeah, I think that could have perhaps been handled a little bit better there by Marikar. Marikar is now on the scorpion spam. I'm going to push across this. Uh, uh, bridge area. Scuba does pop a few quads, but doesn't achieve too much. Does weaken the army, but I think Marikar will still be able to clear this. Scuba does pop one more RPG just to try and weaken these tanks, and I think he's focusing on hitting the tanks as well with the tunnel. If he can hold that, then he's in a really good position. He's, he's cleared this uh, island, although he's letting the tunnel rebuild, which is a huge mistake. You don't want to let that happen. But Scuba continues to pop units and continues to defend this bridge. And yeah, Marikar's in a in a bad way because he's lost the middle. His attack there is being stopped, although he is going again. Maybe he will be able to clear it. 
That tunnel, though, for Scuba, he's letting that get up. That is a huge mistake. He's not focused on the worker that's building it, but I don't think it matters too much. Because Maricor is fully committed to the top. And what's actually happened there, even though he's lost three RPGs, he's got the XP again from killing it. I think if you let it rebuild and then kill it again, you get another 100 XP. Uh, is Maricor just going to go and kill that oil? It looks like he might. Or is he going to bring a rebel? Perhaps bring in a rebel. We can see one entering the tunnel. Um... Supply being built there for Scuba down in the south position. And Maricor now going to go and hit the base. Or perhaps hit the oil. Now we're going to approach the kind of mid to later stages of the game. We've got two battle buses out for Scuba and then the buggy spam will probably start. I always recommend probably making one or two battle buses to fill up. Um, fill up the buses using the, the free RPGs you're getting from all the tunnels and stuff. And then probably switch into into buggies from that. Because these battle buses can deal insane damage. But they can also go down to enemy buggies like relatively easy. Maricor continuing the press forward. Now in the middle. He's secured himself that top oil. Battle bus here for scuba does pop. Taking out a number of scorpions. Battle bus does go down though. But it does kill all of the scorpions. Only one remaining which the quads are going to finish. And Scuba now losing units to this tunnel. But he has established himself here. This is a really good position now for Scuba. He's got the middle as well still. Okay, he's lost that one oil. But you probably take the extra oil in this supply. He's basically, or effectively, two two supplies ahead now. And the oils are even. Uh, not even. One, two, three. No, wait. Uh, Scuba's two supplies ahead. But Maricar's two oils ahead. Who's going to be first into this building? It is going to be Marika. You will be happy about that because even though it's not going to achieve too much, at least it's going to go down, which saves the tanks having to engage it again, although he is bringing a rebel, which would be able to clear it anyway. More and more tunnels being built by Scuba. Probably a lot of people are thinking, why isn't he dropped down the supply there? He can afford it now, but I do think prioritizing the defense of the area it is better and then drop down the supply later on but he has got the cash so there's no reason why he can't expand there super super quick buggies are now uh coming out cc being built no cc for marika i'm not sure if he's getting the bounty money or not if he's not it's a mistake buggy does pop runs over the rebel see him getting the bounty money already i can't see that marika's getting the bounty money at the moment so yeah that is a mistake if so yeah he's not yeah, because an RPG just died there and he didn't get it. So yeah, he needs to place down the CC and get the bounty money. But looking very, very good for a scuba so far. Another big push from Marikar here. He's on three arms dealers. I think he knows he's under massive pressure to make something happen. He needs... I mean, if you're going to lose the bottom left island, which has got 60k on it in total, you're going to need to clear the top and the middle. So he, he knows what he needs to do. But he keeps running into this bunker that keeps being repaired. More RPGs put inside of it. And then these tanks keep taking massive, massive damage. There are buggies now out as well, which are hitting the tunnels. But more and more tanks streaming across the map. Another tunnel there is up for America behind the oil this time. But there's a battle bus here and these buggies are going to do massive damage to these scorpions. Is America going to be able to crack this area? Because behind this, we've got scuba dropping down markets now. Loads of buggies now out. And that's a recipe for disaster, like the tier 1 units against ranged units. The, the buggies can just eat away at these all day. The only chance the scorpions have really is getting stuck behind buildings and in awkward positions where the buggies can't quite get their range off. But uh, this supply now is fully established for scuba down in the south, the two supplies actually. Scuba's still collecting from here even with stealth workers, even though the area is under threat. Uh, Scuba does need to get the buggy ammo upgrade and the worker's shoes. I'm not sure if he's got worker's shoes or not. He has not. <laughs> Some people always laugh at me in the comments. You can always guarantee I'm going to save one of the best upgrades in the game. Has he got worker's shoes? But it's true though. It's 10% extra on all, all of your workers. And then you multiply that by how many workers you have across the map. It does add up, to, add up to a lot, which then unlocks you to build more markets. And then in turn allows you to build more markets and it kind of snowballs until you've just got an insane amount of money. But yeah, Marika, wave after wave of scorpions. But is he going to be able to break this area? Because 
The longer the game goes, buggy ammo is going to be out soon. Maybe AP ammo and stuff like that for uh, Scuba as well. Are, they, are these all stealth? At least that quad there looked stealth. Scuba probably going to have to go back temporarily because he was losing buggies, I think. Losing HP on the buggies. Uh, Marikos trying to get this oil, but Scuba's going to suicide a buggy. Is it even going to suicide, though? Ooh. Marikos now getting the cash bounty. But yeah, I think suiciding one buggy to stop the oil cap is probably worth it because after a minute or so, that buggy would have paid for itself already. Uh, Scuba, maybe a third arms dealer. Yeah, he's already got third arms dealer, actually. So he doesn't really need to drop down that many markets or anything at the moment because he's already got the economic advantage as it is and he's getting the bounty money. You can just continually spam spam buggies. Although this is a bit of a pickle here. There's a lot of buggies going down now. It's a bit of a mishap there for Scuba, and that's exactly what Marikar wanted. Just send the buggies right on top of the on top of the scorpions. But this supply is still going, and Marikar is not scanning it. He's got a radar van. Does he have the scan? No, no. Doesn't have the scan ability, but he could bring it here, or he could force fire. I'm sure Marikar saw it at some point go down, but he's probably just forgotten. Marikar is now going to be up against the Scud Storm there of Scuba. Scuba does have AP ammo now as well. And he's doing a bit of a push here. Wants to try and take this oil back for himself. Is he just going to take it back himself? Oh, that's a bit of a Fargo pop there, I think. Is that worth it? Just a whole mode of bus. Which that bus can just be evac'd and fill up the next bus. So it's only cost a thousand there for like, what, two or three scorpions? Completely wasted. Uh, Marikar is having some success here in the middle though. Marikar trying to force fire the ground, but he's still not finding that supply. So he does know about it. He knows it's there. You can probably see these supplies literally only on one crate left. Just thinking, hang on a minute. <laughs> Where's all these supplies gone? All of this battle here has probably been funded just alone by that supply. Or at least a major part of it. But Scuba is looking strong, man. He is... Uh... I mean, he's going to kill that oil in the middle rather than let Marikar have it. If I can't have it, you can't have it too. Nobody can have it. That supply has been uh, killed. Or oh, I don't know if it was sold or what. There's a lot of vehicles here being uh, disabled by the by the enemy Jarman. Has Scuba got his own Jarman? Ooh, Jarman Kel, very, very low there. And Frax Gamma is now in play, which means his squads, when they go close to this tunnel, are going to be taking immense damage. But it looks like uh, Scuba... He's just clearing up everything, and it all comes down to that bottom left supply, in my view. Really does all come down to this bottom left supply, because it's extra 60k than your opponent, but he also secured the middle, and that is a complete shutout there from Scuba. Very well played indeed. You, have been defeated. you would imagine, like, against Tox, the, the, the Tox is really good at clearing out buildings and taking buildings. Like, if you drop two tunnels down next to a load of buildings, a Tox tunnel and a stealth tunnel, the Tox tunnel is going to be able to clear the enemy buildings real, real easy. Then you can put your own RPGs in it, and then you just naturally win it, which usually means the stealth has to open with the Toxin Tractor to ensure... That he, that he wins that area, but then, uh, yeah, as long as you pick off the Toxin Dragster, you should eventually clear up that area. But Scuba did really well to get that sneaky tunnel down in the bottom left. Even though Marikar denied one of them down in the bottom left, Scuba still managed to get... I don't even know how that got there, to be honest. <laughs> I think he just walked it there from his base. He must have done. I think he just sent two down there. And one of them just built that sneaky tunnel right, right in the south. And Marikar didn't click on it or wasn't able to run it over for whatever reason. I do you think that was a mistake, actually? It could have run it over if it had tried a little bit harder. Um, but I do say, in general, if you want to generalize who's going to win on that game or on that map, whoever in a GLA Mirror secure, or actually on any matchup, whoever secures that bottom left island, trust me, they've got a very, very strong chance of winning. And in general, they probably win like 60, 70% of the time, maybe 80% of the time. Unless, of course, the enemy's able to clear him off it very, very quickly. But if you, if you go up against that island, like, the whole game, you ha you better take over the rest of the map and, like, try and push him out of their base. Otherwise, they can just uh, win comfortably. And look look at the cash difference there. It just tells you all you need to know. So, yeah, GG. Well played to Scuba. Good to see him on the, on the channel. And if you've got any other good replays, actually, uh, unique replays, draw games, top level games, unique strategies, anything like this. No, no newbie camp fest for one hour. But if you've got anything exciting that you know people would like to see, then please send them to me. My email address is in the description, dominatoruk2 at gmail.com. I usually don't request things, but if you've got any really unique and cool things, epic bomb trucks, anything like that, then uh, send them to me and we'll be sure to give them a cast. So yeah, GG, let me know your comments uh, below and see you in the next one.